go. It's all blocked, it's all blocked. So I don't know how to block either. Okay, you reach. <laughs> One more round. Or JK, I win. <laughs> Good game. For this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi, its charger, a USB, a micro SD card, a 3.5mm jack speaker, a USB keyboard and mouse, a monitor, and then the HDMI cable. You will also need some arcade buttons and joystick if you're looking to go for that authentic arcade design. To install the RetroPie software, you want to go on the Raspberry Pi website and download the Raspberry Pi imager. After the imager is installed, you want to open it up and you want to choose the RetroPie software OS under emulation and games. There will be multiple versions available to download and you want to pick the one that suits your Raspberry Pi. You want to write that onto your SD card which you should have cleared beforehand. After writing the RetroPie software onto your SD card, you want to transfer the SD card into your Raspberry Pi as well as connect your Raspberry Pi to the monitor, the mouse and keyboard, and the charger. The system should boot up and then you can start configuring your keyboard. After configuring the keyboard, you want to go back onto your laptop and insert a USB stick into it. You want to create a folder that says RetroPie and then eject it. And then you want to take the same USB stick and connect it to your Raspberry Pi. If you have a USB stick stick like mine that blinks, you will know that the file is transferred when the light stops blinking. If not, just leave it for a couple minutes. Once it's done, you can just remove the USB stick and then plug it back into your laptop. Then, you will notice that in the RetroPie folder, there will be new folders that were created from plugging into the Pi. I have some games that were downloaded from before, which I'm just going to drag into the right folders on the Pi. Um, this is a bit of a gray area, so I won't go into details on downloading it, but it's not too hard to find a way. Then you just want to plug the USB back into the Pi, leave it for a few minutes until it stops blinking, and then you want to restart the emulation station. Once it restarted, you will see that the games will appear. If you had multiple games from different systems, uh, more will appear, but for me, it was just one game on the Mammoth system. Next, you want to configure the audio. So I forgot earlier, but you want to plug in your speaker and then go to the RetroPie configuration audio and then select um, from whatever source you're getting it from. So for me, it was the 3.5 millimeter jack. So now we can run a game. So I downloaded the Miss Pac-Man. Now we can set up the arcade buttons and joystick. So I got these LED arcade buttons from eBay. This is actually an extra set that I got which I will use to demo. I recommend getting a set like this off eBay or Amazon or anything like that because it's super easy to set up. Um, it comes with all the things you need such as the buttons, the joystick and it's all connected to this one baseboard which is then connected to the Pi via USB. So I actually got a set for two players. So this is um, two sets of buttons and joysticks. In this video for demo purposes, I will only show the setup of one set of these buttons and joysticks, but the other set is the same. So you wanna grab the wire with the white end, which is for the buttons. And on the buttons, there are four legs 
So you want to connect the wires to the two shorter legs. And you want to do that for all the buttons. After connecting for all the buttons, you could put the buttons into your board. Um, I just made a makeshift one with some cardboard and I also just used like a one player setup. Although of course you would do it for two players if you wanted a two player bar top bucket. Okay. Next, you will want to grab the red and black wire cables and connect them to the buttons as well. These wires are for the LEDs of the buttons and you want to make sure that you connect them on the same side. So for me, I had the black wires on the left and the red wires on the right, which is for the negative and positive ends. So after plugging in all the wires for the LEDs, you can start plugging in the buttons to the board. So you want to do this after you put it into your baseboard for the arcade since it is quite difficult to remove it afterwards. To power up the LEDs, you want to take an old cable um, that's like around 5 volts of power and you want to cut it and then connect it to the ends. And you can see that I have a lot of leftover cables because this was for a 2 player arcade and I only set up one set of buttons. So yeah, so you want to just connect it and then you can connect it to power and it will just light up. Next, just connect the wire with the USB to the buttons and then your RK buttons are good to go to connect to the Pi. So after setting up the buttons, you could just connect it to the Pi and boot it up as well as configure it. You can also just configure the RK buttons to the Pi initially instead of the USB keyboard and mouse. But I just find it easier to set up the mouse and keyboard first since some settings require some keyboard input. Since I set up these buttons just as a demo, I didn't actually set up the LEDs or connect them to power, so you'll see that the buttons are not bright. To configure the buttons, I connected my USB mouse and keyboard which I configured beforehand and went to settings and the configure input for the new arcade buttons. For a two-player bar top arcade, there's going to be two sets of buttons, so you could just do this twice and you can configure the other one. And it will normally know that one is player one and one is player two. And this is what the buttons look like connected on the actual bar top arcade. Since I made this arcade from quite a while ago, I don't actually have the videos of the actual build, but I do have some pictures that you guys can look at. And if you guys want, in the future I can make a video about how you can go about building your own arcade, as well as feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.